In Canada, provinces and territories set and regulate education standards. No matter where you choose to study, you'll get a high-quality education. Provinces and Territories Known for its rocky mountains, Alberta is a culturally diverse province with lively communities. In Alberta you can hike many beautiful trees. When Europeans explored Canada, they found all regions occupied by native peoples they called Indians, because the first explorers thought they had reached the East Indies. The native people lived off the land, some by hunting and gathering, others by raising crops. The Huon Wendat of the Great Lakes region, like the Iroquois, were farmers and hunters. The Cree and Dean of the Northwest were hunter-gatherers. The Sioux were nomadic, following the bison, buffalo, herd. The Inuit lived off Arctic wildlife. West Coast natives preserved fish by drying and smoking. Warfare was common among Aboriginal groups as they competed for land, resources and prestige. The arrival of European traders, missionaries, soldiers and colonists changed the native way of life forever. Large numbers of Aboriginals died of European diseases to which they lacked immunity. However, Aboriginals and Europeans formed strong economic, religious and military bonds in the first 200 years of coexistence which laid the foundations of Canada. The First Europeans the Vikings from Iceland who colonized Greenland 1,000 years ago also reached Labrador and the island of Newfoundland. The remains of their settlement, Lance O Meadows, are a World Heritage Site. 
European exploration began in earnest in 1497 with the expedition of John Cabot, who was the first to draw a map of Canada's east coast. Italian John Cabot patron of England rediscovered the eastern shores of Canada. England claimed by of discovery an indefinite area on eastern America such as Newfoundland, Cape Breton Island and neighboring regions. Between 1534 and 1542, Jacques Cartier made three voyages across the Atlantic, claiming the land for King Francis I of France. Cartier heard two captured guides speak the Iroquoian word Canada, meaning village. By the 1550s, the name of Canada began appearing on maps. The French explorer Jacques Cartier claimed for France the coast along the Gulf of St. Lawrence, and penetrated the St. Lawrence River up to the present-day area of Montreal. Canada is the mother of the Protestant and Palestine. It is the own government. The Hunters from Canada were battled by both by band communists from host to host. Why? This why. Canada is divided into provinces and territories, each with their own government. You can choose from Canada's wide variety of diverse, vibrant communities from coast to coast to coast. You could experience life on the west coast with its majestic Rockies, immerse yourself in French-Canadian culture in Quebec, or enjoy the scenic ocean views on the east coast of Canada. In Canada, provinces and territories set and regulate education standards. No matter where you choose to study, you'll get a high-quality education. Provinces and Territories Known for its rocky mountains, Alberta is a culturally diverse province with lively communities. In Alberta you can hike many beautiful trails, discover dinosaur bones in the prehistoric Canadian Badlands, shop in the Western Hemisphere's largest shopping mall, or go to the Calgary Stampede. Alberta's economy is driven by natural resources, oil and gas and innovation sectors. British Columbia, BC, is located on Canada's west coast between the Pacific Ocean and the Rocky Mountains. People love the province's landscapes, outdoor adventures and culinary scene. Whether you decide to hike a mountain, take a wine country tour or take in the wildlife, there's something for everyone. BC's growing economy has many opportunities in the clean technology, forestry and technology sectors. Located at the geographic center of both Canada and North America, Manitoba is a land of majestic wildlife and natural beauty. Come to Manitoba and experience the vibrant culture, meet friendly people or take a tour to see polar bears. Manitoba boasts a diverse economy with strengths in natural resources, hydroelectricity, agriculture and manufacturing sectors. New Brunswick is Canada's only officially bilingual province. It borders Quebec, Nova Scotia, and United States. You can live in a small town or city and be close to beautiful lakes, rivers and outdoor spaces. New Brunswick is strategically located, providing easy access to worldwide markets by land, rail, sea, and world-class telecom. It has strong cybersecurity, agritech, technology and advanced manufacturing sectors. Newfoundland and Labrador is located on the eastern edge of North America. 
It's known for its unique cultural character where the people are creative, welcoming and great storytellers. The province has a cluster of innovative and world-class ocean technology institutions, companies, and industry organizations. Situated in northern Canada between Yukon and Nunavut, the Northwest Territories NWT, is a land of natural beauty. Indigenous peoples make up more than 50% of the territory's population. You'll find many opportunities for adventures from hiking in a national park, canoeing a northern river, seeing northern lights and celebrating indigenous cultures. The NWT's economy is largely based in agricultural, fisheries, mining, energy as well as oil and gas sectors. In Nova Scotia, you'll never be far from the ocean. You can enjoy surfing, sea kayaking, wineries and farmers markets all within a close distance. You can choose from a variety of vibrant and welcoming urban and rural communities. Nova Scotia is a growing economic hub with thriving IT and digital media, financial services, ocean technology and transportation and logistics sectors. The name Nunavut means our land in Inuktitut, the regional Inuit language. Inuit have lived in Nunavut for thousands of years. The territory comprises a major portion of northern Canada and most of the Canadian Arctic archipelago. There is much to discover and you may even get the opportunity to see northern lights. Nunavut is also an ideal location for scientific exploration and business. Ontario borders Manitoba, Quebec, and the northern United States. It's home to Canada's capital city, Ottawa, known for its many parks, museums and festivals. You could also choose to live in Toronto for big city adventures and stop at the CN Tower, one of the world's tallest skyscrapers. Ontario has a diverse economy with rapidly growing automotive, life sciences and clean technology sectors. It's also the largest IT region in North America outside of Silicon Valley. Prince Edward Island, PEI, is Canada's smallest province. It's known for its beautiful landscapes, sandy beaches and sandstone cliffs. The province's capital city of Charlottetown offers peaceful small city living combined with a lively food and cultural scene. Pei has strong traditional industries such as agriculture, fisheries and tourism, but is also seeing growth in bioscience, IT and renewable energy sectors. Quebec is Canada's largest province. It's known for its distinct geography, history and culture. French is the official language of Quebec, so it is the perfect place to learn or improve your French skills. English is spoken and understood in most cities in Quebec. Quebec's thriving economy focuses on technology, manufacturing, green energy and financial services sectors. Saskatchewan is a picturesque province with prairie land spanning hundreds of kilometers. Known as Canada's breadbasket, Saskatchewan is a unique mix of people, cultures and geography. The province is known for its wealth of minerals and energy resources as well as agriculture and manufacturing sectors. Yukon is located in the northwest corner of Canada. It borders British Columbia, the Northwest Territories and Alaska. You'll find a variety of activities to enjoy from outdoor adventures with mountains, boreal forests, rivers and glaciers. There are also many cultural events and festivals. Yukon has an entrepreneurial culture as well as strong mining and construction sectors. Oh,